Well, let's take a look at the 3D mirror command. Let's go up to the word modify, come down to 3D operations, and we want to select the mirror 3D. When it says select an object, we're going to go ahead and select this wall. Touch the right mouse button, and now it's asking you to define what plane would you like to mirror. You can provide three points. We can say we want to mirror this along the X, Y, Y, Z, Z, X axis. And again, it all depends on what you're trying to do and how you're doing it. So you need to define three points. Now, one of the things we, we need to, to be comfortable with is remember, in a 3D mirror command, once you define a line, it's going to fold it over. All right? So one of the things we, I want you to do is get comfortable with this left-handed rule. Mike's left-handed rule. Let's try it again. Extend your left arm out. All right? Have your thumb and your first finger pointing out. The other fingers folded over. All right? And rotate your hand so that way it's identical to the UCS icon in the lower left-hand corner. The X uh, is your, is your uh, thumb. Your positive Y direction is your first finger, and your positive Z is going to be your arm. And, and of course, if you were to move your arm down, that's exactly how it would look, all right? Or, or your hand down, your arm would be coming straight up. The arm is always the positive Z. Well, if we want to mirror this over to the other side of this door, this wall, all right, we need to mirror it along this line. And so we need to define a Z value that is also going to be defining a plane along the Y. So you can see down here, one of the options is YZ. So we can type in YZ, do an enter. It asks for a point. So I'm going to say, let's get the midpoint of this top segment right here. Tap it one time. This says, delete the old object. I'm going to touch the right button, not to delete it. And notice how it mirrored this over on the other side. Did you understand that? Let's try it one more time. Why don't you do an undo? All right, we're trying to mirror this over on this side. And if this was a flat two-dimensional pro, uh, profile, if we were to wanting to mirror this over on this side, we would normally just say from this endpoint to this endpoint or this midpoint to this midpoint, right? Now what we're doing is the same tool except we're looking at 3D axes. We want to fold it along to this side, and so our fold line has to define a plane. So when we do a modify 3D operations mirror 3D, we're going to select this wall, touch the right mouse button. The plane we want to fold it is along the Y and the Z. And here you can look at it. We want to define the Z plane up this direction and the Y plane in this direction. So we type in YZ, enter, and the point that we want to get is the midpoint of the top. Select it. Now it says delete all objects. We don't want to delete the old object, so touch the right mouse button. And it creates the mirror over on the other side. Now, let's try doing mirror in a different fashion. Come back to Modify, 3D Operations, Mirror 3D. Let's go ahead and select the same wall. Touch the right mouse button. And now it says uh, that we can either provide three points ourselves, or that we can go ahead and select the X, Y, or the Z axis. We haven't tried those, or even do it by view. Well, what I'd like to try to do is try, try a couple of these other ones here. Let's say that we want, to, we want to define a plane that's X, Y. So if you type in X, Y, do an enter. When it says the point, I'm going to type in the end point, and I'm going to grab the inside end point, tap it one time, and when it says delete the old objects, I'm going to say no, so touch the right mouse button. And notice what has happened. Because we selected the XY as the halfway point, it folded it downward. Try it one more time. Modify, 3D operations, mirror 3D, select the same wall, right mouse button, and this time, let's go ahead and type in ZX. Do an enter. Let's go ahead and type in the same endpoint here and reset. Now, along the ZX was this line here. ZX, this plane. So when we zoom in, notice that when we mirrored it, we actually made the wall thicker. 
by providing an interior wall mirrored it along this endpoint here. Now let's go ahead and just erase those very quick. And let's try one last thing. Come back to Modify, 3D Operation, Mirror 3D. Let's select this wall once again. Touch the right mouse button. Now it's going to say either by a plane, a plane by object, or we can provide three points. Let's provide our own three points. If I say, let's get the endpoint of this object here. This is our starting point. If I say, let's get the midpoint of the inside line here. So now we've defined two points in this fashion. And now the third one, we can actually begin to scroll up. And let's type in mid again, M-I-D. And we want to find this midpoint. And we say delete the old object. We say no. Why don't you take a look exactly what happened. We're going to fit the entire drawing. All right. When we zoom in, along this area here. Note that it actually rotated from that endpoint. That was our origin point. We said angle it towards the midpoint and come to this midpoint to define that plane. So it's actually rotated along three points. Your first point is the 0, 0, 0 origin point or the pivot point, the positive x, and the positive y as you're defining a 2D plane. What do you think?